In this video, I'm going to talk to you about um, users, roles, and uh, LDAP or um, Active Directory External Authentication. To see the current users, we can go to System, then uh, Authentication, and uh, here we can see the user accounts. Uh, this is the default one. And for example, if you would like to create um, a new user, you can click on um, add new user. Let's give this uh, uh, one uh, graylog dot user. Uh, full name, you can type uh, anything. I will just type in uh, graylog user <laughs> something. Email address, it can be anything that you'd like. Can be I don't know Greylog user at bitsbytehard.com yeah anything uh, the password you can give it uh, any password and uh, here are the roles uh, so far we have only reader and admin. And this one is used only for a uh, sidecar system. Then you would uh, need to pick a time zone. You can type anything. Uh, I'm just gonna type, for example, um, Berlin. Yeah, and I'm gonna choose Berlin as my time zone. And then I'm gonna create the user. So the user here is uh, created. Uh, let's try to log in using this user. I will open a private window for Edge. And uh, here we can go to our Greylog IP address. Let's go to the web page. And uh, let's try to log in with uh, our new user that we created. And the password. And you can see that uh, Everything is working fine. The user is able to log in, but uh, he doesn't have any kind of uh, streams configured. He doesn't have anything, right? So um, if we were gonna go to roles and then um, uh, click on add new role, here we can say, um, read everything the description can be the, the same yeah and here we will um, select all the streams and we will uh, set the read permissions not edit permissions and for the dashboards we will gonna do the same set read permissions or you can uh, depending on your choice you can also give uh, edit permissions so let's save this one. Uh, let's go back to our user. Edit the user. And here um, we can change the user role to read everything. Or for example, if uh, we would like um, uh, not to go for uh, the um, user role. You can also give uh, stream permissions here, like read permissions, uh, edit permissions, um, dashboards, and so on. But I'm gonna do it with uh, the user role uh, just for you to see how it looks like. So I'm gonna update the role. 
click on OK. Let's go back to our uh, private window. And uh, log out and then log back in. And as you can see, we got uh, read permissions to everything. And we also have uh, read permissions to our uh, dashboards. One thing that uh, you need to keep in mind for the um, uh, read users, and I will put it uh, side by side for you to see the difference. An admin user can search in all the streams. The read user uh, can search on only on the streams that uh, he is uh, selecting. Yeah, so this is a big difference. The admin user can search uh, in everything. The read user can um, or he needs uh, to select the stream that um, he wants to look in for. So let's go back to our um, authentication page and create another role this time we can say something like um, network admins and the description is for network admins and this time to the network uh, admins role we will gonna give permissions uh, only to this group uh, sorry to this stream and only allow them to read then uh, we will gonna go to dashboards and for dashboards uh, we can give them permissions uh, to edit so for example if uh, they want to add more widgets into that dashboard um, they can do it without any issue let's save this one and um, we will have um, we will have uh, three active directory groups. Uh, one of them they will be uh, Greylog admins, and they will uh, have permissions to everything. Uh, then we will have um, uh, a read Greylog group, and the users in uh, this read group will have uh, uh, access to everything, so they can read everything for Greylog. And we will have another uh, active directory group um, network admins that they can um, see only the Cisco ASA stream and they can also edit, edit the, um, the dashboard uh, for the firewall. Yeah? But uh, before we start with the active directory authentication, we will need to configure the LDAP Active Directory uh, section. So the first thing that you need to do would be to enable LDAP and then uh, click on Active Directory. Here you can put the host name or the um, IP address uh, that you have for your um, uh, Active Directory server. In my case is 10. 168.184.135 uh, the port would be the LDAP port 3A9 and now we will use the system username in my case I'm gonna use the uh, admin account that uh, I have on the AED server in your case uh, if you're implementing uh, gray log in a production environment uh, most probably you will gonna have your uh, you will have to ask the team which is managing your Active Directory servers create a, a service user for you that you can use. 
and right now we will have to um, uh, set the password and after we will uh, set a password we will have to test the connection to the server to see if uh, it's uh, successful and it is which is fine right now we will have to um, uh, search in the database for user mapping uh, and I'm going to use something similar to this example right here and I will put um, uh, DC equal bit byte heart comma DC equal local and then we will have our search pattern uh, I will use this one this example right here then for the display name I'm gonna put the same as it is in here oh by the way if you're not aware uh, what um, uh, DC CN uh, DN and uh, these acronyms uh, mean for um, Windows servers I'm gonna um, drop a link uh, down below to um, a website which is explaining uh, these acronyms and uh, what is uh, their function explaining it here doesn't make too much sense because it's uh, actually beyond the scope of this video for the group mapping uh, I'm gonna use again something similar to this one uh, so I will use uh, cn equal users and then a comma dc equal uh, you know what I'm just gonna copy this one from up here and put it by the way uh, again I would need to uh, make a remark here in case you're implementing this one uh, in a um, uh, production environment uh, instead of CN uh, you might want to put uh, OU here uh, which stands for organizational unit so for example you can say I don't know your the name of your organization I will put here something like uh, BBH yeah for bits by heart <laughs> and then uh, you might want to do groups but uh, in my case I'm just gonna leave it with uh, CN users and then uh, the group search pattern I'm going to use the example right here that they provided group name attribute CN again you can see the example and the default role um, the default role uh, it will be reader because with reader they cannot access anything and then uh, additional default roles I'm not going to say anything and here we can um, use a username to, to test it yeah so let's use uh, graylog dot admin and then the password and test our login and it's successful you can see a lot of details here Yeah, this is the distinguished name and uh, this is the group that uh, this uh, user is part of Greylock admins I'm gonna save my uh, LDAP settings and then I'm gonna go to LDAP group mapping and in LDAP group mapping I'm gonna look for um, Greylock admins for Greylock admins I'm gonna grant admin access for Greylock readers I'm gonna say uh, read everything because if I'm gonna select reader they will not gonna be able to see anything there 
So read everything and then uh, network admins, which will have um, the user role of network admins and then save our settings. So that uh, now that the, sa the settings are uh, saved, So now that the settings are saved, we can test the logins to see how they look like. I'm going to open a private window here. And another one on the left side. Here on the left side, I will use uh, the admin user. And here on the right, I will use the um, one of the user accounts that has uh, read access. Greylock that admin is our admin user and the password. And writing out the Greylock reader. Okay. So you can already see the difference. This one is the admin. This one has access to everything. Uh, it can search into everything. It has access to all the streams, uh, sources for the reader or for the read user. Uh, you don't see anything uh, for sources in here that he can configure. And you can also notice that the um, the streams, they look different. Uh, the admin user can edit them. The read user uh, cannot do anything just to read them. Now let's check the other account for the network admins role and network admins uh, active directory group. The user is network admin, network that admin, then the password. Okay, and this user has access only to Cisco ASA stream. He can uh, see only the Cisco logs and for dashboards, uh, he can uh, edit the dashboard, uh, delete it if he wants to and uh, also see it. This concludes our video here. Um, I hope this uh, was uh, helpful for you. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.